Good afternoon, everyone. You're very far. Please join us. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Yes. So as we wait for everyone to come back, uh, I think there is no any other session taking place at the moment. So we hope people will be joining us shortly. But we are going to use this chance. Hello. Hello. Yes, so we are going to use this chance because we realized uh, the other time when we shared about the, um, the African agenda, we realized the majority or the bigger number of people who are in the room had not um, taken time to read through the agenda. So it would really not be good to jump into the prioritization process before everyone really has a sense of what's in the document, what's missing, and uh, what needs to be added. So uh, today our session is going to be very simple, sharing what we have in the African agenda document, and then you, you, you tell us what's missing, and then uh, we propose solutions together, and then after that, okay, yes, as, as I said, so we are going, in this session, we are going to look through our document, and then see some of the issues that were highlighted, the proposed solutions, uh, and then see what's missing there. And you also get your feedback on what needs to be added. And then um, after that, we shall also go to another session where I shall know, um, we shall be having a question, what's next? Now that we have the agenda, now that very soon you're going to do the prioritization, what will be next? Who will be taking this agenda? Uh, what will be the... Uh, so you're going to help me uh, welcome Yop, who is going to help me uh, as we go into this discussion. About those who entered when the video was, I think, uh, almost getting done, don't worry, it will be shared to you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Right. Oh, the microphone. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Are we sharing the... Yes, yes. Hi, everyone. How was lunch? It was good. The what? The photo session was brilliant. Okay, someone did photos during lunch. I like how the priorities are set. <laughs> um, we can get another presentation. Okay, um, we're changing microphones. Okay, um, so in in this session, just um, two two things to note um, for this session. Uh, our dear colleague Belinda was supposed to be here leading um, and facilitating our conversation and our time together. Unfortunately, um, she's not able to make it. Um, but besides that, she, she's fallen ill, so she's she's trying to take care of her health, and we wish her quick uh, and emergency recovery, hopefully. Um, so we were supposed to walk through a prioritization of our needs as a community. But learning from the conversation that we had on Friday and just the fact that we still need to have a conversation essentially about what is included in as the content on the Africa agenda, we're going to take this opportunity to take a look at those priorities. In the Africa agenda, there's a good list of a lot of the background. We're not going to go through all of that background just now, but we're going to be focusing on page four, challenges, the needs, and the proposed solutions. And in our conversation, we're hoping that we can hear from you if there's a comprehensive enough list in the Africa Agenda draft uh, proposal for now. Um, and if it isn't, what is missing? If there's something there that just doesn't make sense, let's have a conversation about it. It's not going to be final. We're not completely representative of the community in the room right now. So the conversation and the discussion about what's missing will still continue follow, uh, following um, our time together. And we continue to encourage everyone to please take time, look at the document and drop notes in there. It is also going to go up on Meta um, after today. 
So, it, but in our conversation today, if we can just begin to talk about that and share those ideas and thoughts with each other, um, I think we think that that might, um, might be helpful. So that's what we'll be doing um, for the next 40 minutes, <laughs> um, looking at the time. Do we have up to 40 minutes? Okay, so for the next 40, 40 minutes, this is what we're doing. Um, thoughts, questions before we dive into it. In Nigeria, we say the angel passed. When the pin dropped silence for a while, the angel passed. I waited for the angel to pass. So I guess we can move. So between um, Derek and I, I'll share one section and then we'll hear from you if there are any recommendations or opportunities based on what we have learned as the needs. Um, if there's any, if you have any questions or thoughts before we go on to the next, there are five. Uh, there's a list of five um challenges and needs, as well as proposed solutions. Um, apologies, because this is, this was a, an agile process. Our slides, well, the slides are still in transit. <laughs> They're going with Africa time. I don't know if it's Nigeria time or Uganda time. Um, okay. So equity and representation. This is representation, of course, in global decision making, um, and identifying that as a challenge. Um, we know that in we need to see more representation of Africa and Africans in the board of trustees. Um, we need to see more representation and participation of Africans in global events and the challenges and the barriers um, to that, ensuring that those are proactively addressed. Um, did we, did I miss this? Okay. Okay, and then community, I can't. <laughs> Please remove the barriers. <laughs> yes. Okay. Then community building. Okay. I thanks. Uh, I should go on stage. So then community building. Can help me hold this? Um. Okay. Um, community building. This is essentially. Um. um making sure that we have um, more Africans uh, and Wikimedians, particularly the leaders in the movement, um, getting the support that is needed and getting that support um, effectively. Um, then of course, regional hubs in this case, thinking about how do we come together and coordinate across various regions based on um, the needs that have been prioritized, um, and uh, then finally, uh, aligning on global emerging uh, issues. What is What are we saying from Africa as the global emerging issues? We all feel it differently depending on what continent you're on, what the global emerging issues are, um, and how should Africans then engage with stakeholders on those emerging issues and how we might address them. Uh, so there are a couple of, there are a few proposed solutions. Uh, okay. One being proposed, uh, sensitization. We, ah, <laughs> okay. Uh, sensitization on movement governance structures. Uh, what are those governance structures that are happening across the movement and how are we communicating that? We mentioned earlier when we're speaking um, with the MCDC about sometimes we're communicating, we're saying governance, we're saying global council and things like that. But what does that actually mean? Can we properly connect the dots and connect the dots better um, in raising the awareness about how and where Africans can effectively engage and contribute and actually influence decision making? Um, and then we talked about there's also the need to be empowered at the local local language, of course, to engage authoritatively in those spaces. Sometimes, as Africans, we have a little more we have more barriers um, than our colleagues and other editors and communities in other continents. 
Um, sometimes it's about just building the capacity, building, enabling um, the initiative, enabling us to take the initiative, or identifying clearly how um, our skills and our abilities can bring value to the conversations. We have it, but un sometimes until someone points it out, um, it's not easy. Um, and that's how we then create those pathways. And then through that, we can create pathways for transferring knowledge. Um, on IP blocks, um, Derek definitely knows more about this challenge than I do. So Derek, will you share this please? Um, but before we go to that, sorry. So before we go to that, we shared quite, I've shared quite a bit. I tried to run over it. It's a lot. Um, our issues are many. We're going to tackle them. But what is missing? Yeah, I see one hand. Isla, what is missing? Can, can we? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes, please. It's more a phrasing of I'm what is what does representation mean in this? In, in what does representation mean in in this? Okay. By this representation. What do we mean by representation? Okay. Yeah. So what I'm meaning that <laughs> is representation covers a range and vast range of different elements. So so representation yeah. uh, covers a vast <laughs> different of uh, meanings and uh, it's kind of a complex issue. Yeah. And I think it, we need to define whether it's local representation, local representation, what it means within that space. So it's almost like a, that's what I'm saying, framing. Okay? So when we talk about representation in the, that, in this section, what do we specifically mean? So let's that's qualify it. Let's qualify it. Yeah. Is it, are we talking about regional representation? Uh, are we talking about just active voices? Are we talking about women? Like, Right. Female you know, representation, are we talking about in there? Like, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of representation. So, so um, I think that just needs okay. to decide me. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, and I'll try that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's just like, and also, um, I think, in, a, in the way you're so looking at global, Issues, but then also how can we, what are the, the issues along the continent as well? So how can we also, so rather than always putting out that why aren't we being represented on a global scale, like how can we do better within ourselves uh. to make that, to, to create that representation, to make that representation stronger? Uh -huh. You know, I know that the solutions and stuff, but what I mean is, like, how can we be more representative within our own groups? So it becomes like a layering of the solution. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So it's not just the global, it could be like the global section, then we're kind of like regional representation, what that means, and then what it means, like, I don't know, and that to me, that's like a, you know, that we're yeah. all the, the full kind of context. so representation. <laughs> yeah, let's be deliberate from our own circles and our own engagements about being representative, yeah. um, and make sure that that goes and bubbles up even into the global conversations or just the thing. We must accept of ourselves. Yeah, be the change you seek. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, any other questions on this? Questions? What is missing? What doesn't make sense? Um, before we go to the next. Okay. Sam. Um, I'm a little concerned about the proposed solutions um, are not. Either not realistic or not, not actually going to um, solve the issue that the court solve. Because, for example, um, repeating the need to, to have a space to, 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 to engage, a local level to engage 
part of the set of exceptions. Uh, so there's a proposed solution of having to leave the session, having to stay. Uh, in the end, to uh, engage with movement governance at a global level, someone needs to show up at the global level. Right. You can have all sessions you want locally, but if that whole city carried locally with authority, whatever exactly the end of it. But if someone isn't willing to show up and see that voice at the global level, it will not be heard. It will right. exercise it will be and it will not be heard. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm sort of expressing a general concern that I see a lot of needs expression, I see a lot of desire for things to be different, to be other than they are. But I don't see now what are we going to do? Right. To change it. Well, how are we going to take different rather than just waiting for the second to change for us? Okay. I see now an uh, expression of what are the African communities going to do differently in order so for this to happen? Right. And by the way, maybe the answer is it's too hard. There's too few of us who want to do it at the moment. We're not uh, whatever, we're not ready. We have more historical concerns. I think that's a valid answer. I'm not judging the new answer, but I think it should also be uh, taken into account as a possibility because the people are pushing very hard for the like the only possible result is a lot of African participation in global governance. I question whether that is absolutely obviously popular right now. Huh. Maybe it is not impressed by the, by the level of energy shown so far for participating in global governance. And I think maybe it's the people genuinely want to do global things more than they want to do that. Global things. Right. Hey, I'm saying let's let's frame the solution in a in a sense more actionable in a way that is actually touching on what people clearly assume and these communities are actually ready to do rather mm. than wish Okay, okay. Okay, so actionable, yeah, more reflective of what we want to do, or no, no, the want is clear. Oh no, what more reflective of what we're ready to do, less what we want to do. Okay, um, and just to say that the the current agenda is based on all the feedback that has been gathered. So this is how we're framing, um, as we're this is the framing based on input. Um, and the final product, of course, would have to look very different. But good point about, I guess, in the continuous engagement, we do need to emphasize um, what we want to do now, what we see the need. And I guess what I'm saying is the impact about what people are ready to do. Right. Yeah. So let's find out what we're ready to do. Aha. I like that because then we have to step up. Okay. Any more, Bobby? Yes. So I don't know if you can get it to me, but you can get it to me. But why do you get it to me? What is this? I don't know if you can get it to me. And what do you think that you can do this? I think that is important. One of the things that I have said is to me, was um, as Africans, not wanting to only be the books for us. There was a particular event for decades for it. I was part of the city quality for it. So, <clears throat> Uh, one of the things that I would ask us to do here is to make sure we do not see the time, make sure we do not see the time, make sure we do not see the time, comment, or comment. I think that's the way we do it. Yeah. Yes. What, what we are trying to do here is not the final setting. Definitely not. Uh, but we have to say more comments on you. All of these comments on you, this, the parts again, still trying to engage in corporate engagement so that we find the message. You know, I don't know what it's going to say. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Email. So I just wanted to highlight that we know, you know, some of the areas. Uh, we are interested in thinking about roads, the communities, the books, our families, doors, and then all of a sudden, someone comes, yes, we need support. And then someone comes and tells us to leave the post document. We know that's going to be changed from this point, but please, yes, continue to the document. And any comment is well. Thanks so much for saying that. Thank you for that, Bobby. Um, you have a yes, okay. Okay. Uh, what we can do is we can talk to the different languages. And the big thing of putting the title of our hair in to write a comment recommendation, especially how is all language. Okay. I see one of the language is it's getting translated. Yeah, yeah. So adapt. Okay. Okay. So adapt um, platforms, technology, something that will help enable us to have these conversations and in more languages. Maybe we could use the forum, I don't know, but that's understandable. And if every, anyone wants to take on the um, take on the, the role of translating it for you into your language, I, it's free, right? To do that. Okay. <laughs> so feel free to do that. All right. Should we move on to the next should I wait for the angel to pass and then we go on to the next priority? Yes. Is to uh, just somewhere we need to make sure that there is the gender representation yeah. aspect. Absolutely. And we will go in from we are going to do it, but it's just uh, it's it's representative here. It's, it's, uh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that, but that's, that's the past. Okay. So let's not assume translations will happen. Let's be deliberate about making sure those translations come. Um, it's 10 minutes past three already, and we have four more to go through. So um, if you don't mind, let's push, keep pushing. Of course, please drop. No, we're dropping more here. So after the conversation, if there's anything that you weren't able to say, you can please take the mark and add it to the flip chart. We're keeping it. Hmm? 
Yeah, of, the document is live. Okay. So, I'd be blocking, Derek. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, another key issue that was addressed uh, through the two sessions we had, uh, the Africa Baraza sessions we had, um, was the IP blocking, uh, which is the practice of uh, blocking the IP address or range of uh, IP addresses from editing Wikipedia. This has happened, uh, I think, even by the time Wikinda was going on uh, in in Rwanda, we had very many people whose IP addresses were blocked, and uh, it has been it has been uh, seen as a reason why uh, so many people get discouraged from editing, especially now the newbies. Person start editing before they know it, the IP address is is, um, is blocked. Now they cannot create any more content. They cannot edit the existing content apart from only viewing and reading. So it has been. Uh, uh, seen as an issue, and uh, some of the uh, you could scroll some of the some of the reasons for the IP block. Uh, one is uh, vandalism, uh, spamming Wikipedia pages, uh, disrupt Wikipedia discussions, uh, impersonation of the of other users. Uh, and also breaking other Wikipedia policies, of which I feel, uh, or we also realized it, it is, for the newbies, it's very likely to happen because one doesn't sit down and understand the policies just in one day. And some of the challenges, uh, we realized that these blocks can sometimes be meted out to legitimate users as an error. And then you have a person who has not committed any of the, any of the, I wouldn't want to call them crimes. <laughs> yes, and you find them being blocked. And to save time, maybe I, I shall go. You, you could uh, scroll down to the some of the proposed um, solutions of which we shall allow everyone to also add, put in uh, the adding the, the, their thoughts. Yes. So uh, one of the these are the current solutions that we already have. But uh, we also have reasons, or oh, people share different reasons why they feel these existing solutions are not enough. One of the current solution is uh, requesting to be unblocked, uh, and not timely for an event happening. For instance, if the event, a, 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 an intention is ongoing, you have more than three, four, five people getting blocked. Now, the process of asking the people to be unblocked, it is not uh, timely. Like It cannot be done there and then, and people continue with their editing, it happens thereafter, which means if you have people editing and then they are blocked, you they'll have to edit when the, it will take longer than necessary. Uh, the second thing is that, um, the second uh, solution is submission of um, a prior request for an IP range protection or unblock for the IP range of your event location. This is also a very, uh, an existing solution. Uh, another solution is creating accounts before the event session, which is also, uh, I think we shall understand why it is not enough. Because if I'm a newbie, I've not understood why it's even important. I've, I don't even know if I need uh, to create an account to be able to edit. And then the first thing I'm told is to, before you come for the event, first create an account. Um, and then another thing is uh, acquire, uh, to acquire an IP block, exemption user right. Uh, another solution that is uh, e that exists is acquiring and use using the event coordinator user right to create accounts in a session or to create a new account on a different wiki when an IP block issue occurs. Uh, these are the existing solutions, uh, but from people's ideas, this is why they feel or oh, people feel it's not important. I mean, uh, it's not enough or it doesn't work. Uh, one, to request an IP block, to request an, an, uh, an unblock of your IP address, you can submit a request um, later, uh, a request to an administrator on the relevant wiki. However, it is important to, make that, to note that these requests to unblock IP addresses are generally not granted or timely, as I, I, I mentioned. The second thing, unless your event location uses Ethernet connections, 
you will not be able to determine your IP. All IP range for an event to happen in the future due to IP, IPs ranging, uh, changing frequently. So uh, that, that is also a reason why people think it's not enough. The fact that people have, we saw a current, one of the solutions is that you can request, uh, you can request for, like you can inform about the event before so that it, when the event is ongoing, the IP address, the IP blocking doesn't take place. But again, the IP addresses keep changing. Um, sometimes blocks can even affect even user rights, such as the event coordinator. Uh, so some of these things uh, explain why the existing solutions are not enough to deal with the issue of IP blocking. And uh, these are some of the proposed solutions. One, we need African administrators on English Wikipedia. So the frustration with the IP blocks is the process to, to unturn a block is not timely and the administrators sometimes lack knowledge about the persons being blocked and the context. Therefore, we need more African administrators on English Wikipedia. Another proposed solution administrator needed tools. Uh, according to research, one of the reasons uh, is that the respective functionalities lack the needed tools to do simple things like unblocking an IP. Uh, another proposed solution is the uh, exemption of, uh, of uh, IP block for known events. Another solution that was proposed is IP block exempt from uh, for auto confirmed users or users of good month, uh, users of six month good standing? Uh, another one is creating temporary user rights for trusted and responsible African contributors. Uh, so these are some of the these are some of the solutions people have uh, put on the document. All people, uh, uh, some of the solutions people feel like they could come in because the existing ones are not enough, as we've seen. Uh, so we can uh, use, I think, a minute or two to allow everyone's feedback in case you feel there is another idea you feel could uh, help in dealing with the IP block that has been left out. Uh, and we also add it on the document. So the floor is open. Yes, Felix. <laughs> So at the beginning, I think it was Bobby and a few colleagues had a session with some of the people who are going to be here. One of the things that I've seen, which I want to do to you, but it's why I'm going to say, I'm going to be able to talk about the next year, 22, 22. Um, so my suggestion would be that I I know when you want to create a Wikipedia account. Um, sorry, when you are blocked, you get a notice, right? So I'm just thinking, why is it not possible for a newbie who wants to create an account to also get a notice that they something around the IP and how they can maybe uh, learn some ways or just guide them on how to prevent IP IP blog. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm not thinking around if they can receive notice to IP blog. Why can't we also receive a notification when we are receiving the account that tells us what this is what you have to do to prevent uh, yourself from being lost? 
And I also, I was in a session this morning and we were talking about event registration and how it has really helped a lot of people to get them from getting uh, IP blocks when they are trying to join campaigns because they use the event registration to register and they also get access to the applicant where there are so many other things. So I don't know if these uh, suggestions or ways that we really help people. Thank you so much. Uh, yes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to be quick. Um, so I know the IP block is a big issue, and I don't want to in any way um, take that away from anyone. Mm -hmm. But I, I just feel um, looking like so the agenda to me, how I would see the agenda is how we as Africa engage with the global movement. Okay, and what those structures are and how that is facilitated and then yes, what the issues are. But one of the issues I feel like I've got is far too detailed and far too specific hmm. about you know so it gives an illustration of what the issues that we face engaging on the, the bigger platforms, but it doesn't by concentrating specifically on the IVO, we're actually focusing on one thing and not on like the I don't think it's so frustrating about mm -hmm. So it should be more of a meta I feel, at this stage, about like how do we engage with administrators, how do we engage with things to clear the path and make it easier for, for Africans to contribute. I can block being one of the examples. If you know what I mean. Otherwise, we're just we're drilling down on detail on one and we're forgetting the other issues that we also face. Things like translation or smaller, whatever, you know, whatever it is. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, so so that, that's, it's, I guess, why we just the frustration on the focus. Mm -hmm. But I just feel that it's too detailed, too meta, but it's not meta enough. But, and I don't know about yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. the whole culture of that for us to actually make it work for other things. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Great. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's hear okay. from her, then we come back. Okay. So, um, that's the other reason why we have life and loss. And that's to prevent vandalism on the public figure. So um, the solution that is that I might be doing is a show for six months, I think. Mm -hmm. ah, I think that's the, not, I think, I think that's the solution mm -hmm. uh, that I have. Six months ago, we got to a couple of the amazing on the Then if you go off the first point. You could. Yeah. So I guess after the day, I'm going to do more action on the internet. The first point is to do more. No, the solution. Yeah. 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 And what well, I want to say when it comes to the English with Peter, I mean, you know, I think it's possible for people that are just possibly people that are interested in, in learning the policies and going to that level of being by a man and being by a man, particularly since I've been emphasizing on the community plan and the data that we've been using with Peter, so there's more support. I think most people right now in African communities are encouraging people to focus on um, language with Peter rather than language with Peter. And more well, people just need that as a condition that should be able to be white rather than from Africa to their stats. So, and that's the thing. All right. Uh, Isaac. Isaac. Isaac and then uh, Felix. Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, very much blessed that we uh, modified mm -hmm. that six dollars six months to remove uh, the subject of more than that aspect. I thought that we could really take really good and the world will be some of the way of those that we can make that go. So we can modify it to at least one hundred uh, more than that aspect. Oh, okay. So I remember at the beginning. 
we love us for now. I didn't want to have that. So we are also localized in the middle of a small language. So I don't know how that is in the middle of it is so for small language we can have the empty and central we look at the library for the library for no other small language so it's easy so once I said we can just so we can add that then I must also point out our attitude you know and then we did also in the house to have a conversation with who doesn't take that. <laughs> so, the struggle was taking place on this video. And for students, the applicants are going to those who are having one class. Why do you avoid the struggle together? Sometimes you are written a clear little while ago, a non expressed person from another region of the explanation, and you run away with no participation in that speech. Also, I don't know. So, and that takes me to the point about the day. I know earlier last year, uh, Florence actually just started a, a request for comment on this type of government. Well, Pascal and Ronald are becoming the leaders to go there and comment. They refuse to comment. So, those, those solutions will not magically happen if you are running away from this. Nobody, only very few people, you know, commented. So the voices are not They're really annoying. Really so if we have like a little bit of a if we find the other people to be assigned to the the condition we must be having it. There are people who are meant to be on their toes. But for security reasons, all these things to be solved with their ambassador to obtain it. If we have, so let me to look at how to change our attitude towards. How we see the moment. The moment is global, it's not very much global. Mm. So we do really care that very and that's a common thing. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I think that's what you said. I think it's it's also important to look at even though we're going to be in five minutes and this session time. I think it's important to sometimes we need to no no. Article reception. Article retention trends in the golden period. Would you want to do that? Would you want to do this? Sure. 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 No longer will be able to teach about who are going to be and go into this. But I wanted to make all this important. I noticed that, and this is easy. Yeah. We don't have a sense of community on our own like we do at the end. Oh, yeah. And I think that is partially the reason why we should travel on the day. Nothing to do with that. We have people who are going to pass those that are better and not going to stay there. We don't have to go back to the bed. And all of it was not people who want to see the soil is actually. And the kind of other people that are going there and they say why it's the most interesting guys to see this. Right? So, what I want to see with is that sometimes people are going to get All we have to do is to contact not me, but And so, a lot of people that are going to see things. I don't think this is what we're talking about. It's, it's not only the race and the reason why we did for the law. And it took long law. So let me, one thing we should start thinking about and looking out of, which I don't see in the community, is trying to bring this into the community again. Oh, yeah. It's not a very good thing. 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 I think it's sort of a struggle when we're in the comments on some of these books and we might have a lot of people. They try, people like that, they should try. Yeah. And so, she was first to show us. 
this problem. And not all of the economies. And for me, I think the first point that I talked about, I mean, the main one is the second point. Like, as I was saying, not everybody wants to be a better. Not everybody wants to be a better. Some people just want to be a better. Yeah, I think because the only way it wants to be a better is that there's no power. Or change that's the way that's most famous in power. So maybe it's not a group of people who are interested in changing some of the problems on it. Right? Maybe the task is going to be. Right? And then these people will get changed. So we can't the next issue of the next new content. We can't do it because of all of these things. We can't do it because of all of these things. We can't do it because of all of these things. Thank you so much. Uh... We have more comments? Yes. Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to focus on the reply that I said earlier about action. Mm -hmm. This first of all is about we need African administrators mm -hmm. uh, on the English Wikipedia. I absolutely agree. We need African administrators on Wikipedia for a number of reasons. I guess we will find them in the middle of them, availability to set up everything. Yes, we need. How is that a solution? That's a need. Hmm. We need African administrators on the media. Now, what are we going to do about it? As we said, there is a path that you can take to become an administrator. You need to care about copyright law, not all of them do. You need to understand the law policy on English media. I, I feel there's like an expectation that maybe the foundation can just kind of appoint. Some African admins. We don't do that. That's not how admins are created or you should be there. You should, you should take, take some time to learn how admins are elected on Wikipedia. It's a community process. To become an admin, some, not just in this room, some African editors will need to decide they care enough to learn copyright law, to learn the law and policy, to learn the notability policy, because that's what an admin is. You're expected to enforce these policies. It's a boring document, as Bob said. We need the two applicants who are willing to read a boring document, or if you don't find it boring, to care about to, to learn those problems and apply them. And they can have all the support they want. There are materials, there are videos, there are admins on English Wikipedia willing to mentor you. That support is available. But, you know, just Make it very actionable. Yeah. Finally, 20 African Indians who say, yes, we want not to be admins, we want to do the hard work, which is what being an admin means, right? We want to study copyright law and blocking policy and notability policy and to enforce it and to get in the middle of arguments on Wikipedia and in close discussion that that's what admins do. And to leave articles and upset people whose articles I deleted because of the copyright violation or whatever. But that's what I want to do. Find me 20 African Indians who want to do that. And I, at the same time, the Wikimedia Foundation the movement will support you to become adults. But we need people willing to take that effort. And I want to, to bluntly confront you with the fact so far, very few Africans have even tried. Yeah. It's not like we have a problem with a bias where tons of applicants are trying to become admins on English Wikipedia and failing. That's not the case. Right? So I'm, I'm rewriting this sort of bullet. Instead of we need admins on English Wikipedia, we need to find people who want to be admins on English Wikipedia. Then we can give the false story. Yeah. I feel uh, what um, Asad was talking about. I feel the need is that uh, people have, uh, don't know how to do it. Don't know how to do it. And we think this would be our this was a uh, session where we talked about how to become a leader. I think that was one of the best sessions. Because you know, we don't already have 4,000 decades, but you don't know what's the next step. For example, me myself, I tried uh, by getting a nominator of the problem for that someone who tell you, uh, all the, uh, all this, and, 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 and,
the people still have a good job, but they will start explaining to you what's in the first way forward. So we need to try to open how that it is. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I think in the interest of time, yeah. in the interest of time. Well, yes, before that happens, you need to show the real strong, strong editors. Okay. We need to edit every single day. We need to get some public. Yeah, and it's our experience. It's not only that it's all the understanding of how it actually works. So, of course, we do not understand and know everything, but most of it, some of the others are really just so So, you need to participate, yes, in the voting of new policies, in the voting of new whatever, uh, understanding and actually practicing and getting into the country, getting involved in the discussion of the situation. And that requires a lot of time and a lot of work. So, the first step is not trying to understand even better who is really the person, the thing is to lead them. To really take time. And that's not easy. And that's not the same thing that we can organize your movements. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, I think we could uh, applaud everyone who has given a feedback on that. The beauty uh, uh, around Africa Baraza, we talk about the issues and we propose solutions. Because we realized it's high time we go beyond, uh, we don't have African Wikimedia, I mean African um, Wikipedia administrators, but how do we have African administrators? How are the existing few African administrators uh, equipped and given a platform to train other people who would want to undergo the same process? So that is what uh, Africa Baraza is all about. And uh, these are the conversations we are having. So allow me to hand over to, oh, okay, yo, so let me do the, 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 the last one, which is um, article and editor retention. Uh, this is also another issue that was uh, pointed out from uh, discussions, either online or offline. Uh, so the first one was article retention. Uh, so the article retention is when an article created is not maintained on Wikipedia because it is claimed, struck or tagged to have not met uh, the basic criteria for an article writing in that specific article category. So article retention causes can be, I mean, uh, article retention issues can be caused by a lack of understanding of the policies um, and rudiments, rudiments of uh, contributing the, to the platforms or lack of awareness from fun functionalities or uh, about the context of an article due to the perceived notability of the subject or the credibility credibility of the references or sources. Then for editor retention, uh, it is the inability of communities or movement to maintain a volunteer and their interest in contributing to Wikimedia projects. Uh, and I think this has happened to so many communities. I think I kept hearing people talking about it even in different session, sessions where you have a person joining the movement, maybe it's a Wiki Loves Africa or Wikigap contest, the edit in that contest when it's done, you do not see them again. And I think uh, so many communities uh, uh, resonate with this. So it was an issue that was uh, put across. Uh, and then the article retention. Um, okay. Yes, uh, so these are some of the challenges or frustrations people go through uh, that even made it one of the key points or key issues that we are addressing this uh, agenda. One uh, is the lack of um, Africans participating on a global scale or African Wikimedians. I think we've talked about this. Uh, it's not that Africans are blocked from becoming administrators. It's that a few Africans are willing and ready to undergo through the process of becoming administrators. Hello. <laughs> the second thing, uh, lack of a learning culture. So the lack of a standardized training and resources to guide, to guide new recruits on what to know in the various stages of the volunteer journey uh, can be very uh, de detrimental to contributing to the wikis. So this leaves a lot of new contributors to, to self-learn 
or rely on other self-taught colleagues and most of uh, and most often what comes their way so self-learning can be useful in providing knowledge at a large scale but not only not not only beneficial when it comes to structured uh, and guided uh, There is also a lack of understanding of the policies, the issue of IP blocks, the contributor blocks, uh, lack of belonging and a sense of community. Not just Wikipedia, pick and choose what suits your journey. So I think this is uh, it's not one of the issues that really uh, cause a lot of uh, frustrations. Um, Next. Next, yeah. And then a burnout that, that is caused uh, by a series of um, frustrating events. Uh, and uh, we are going to the proposed so solutions. Uh, so some of the... Slow down. <laughs> some of the proposed solution, one was creating a program to train and recruit the first group of African admins. The second one, creating and maintaining the process, the, the presence of African community online. Developing a standardized onboarding process or experience for new, newbies. Developing a skills request box. Just like we have the community wish list, the African Wikimedians should have a skills wish list or portal. The list, uh, under this, uh, the list should be connected to the programs like Let's Connect or be accessible to mentors and mentees uh, for easy pairing. Then offline connections. This is also another important solution that was proposed. Uh, creating and maintaining offline connections. Uh, another one, next. Presenting Wikimedia as, as a set of efficient tools that can amplify advocacy. Uh, so these are some of the solutions. Um, we could add more, we could rephrase them in a few minutes before uh, I hand over my mic to York to tell us after here what's, what's next. Because I think people have been asking themselves after here what's next. We have the issues, we have the proposed solutions, then what? Because we are going away, we are moving away from sitting down and we say issues and we say what may be done to saying, yeah, we know the issues, we have the proposed solutions, then let's act. Who's responsible? What are the powers of instrument and so on? So uh, I will come, uh, everyone who would want to say something. Yes, Isaac, uh, who is having the mic? Yes. Come again. Come again. Okay. I'm yes. going to say that yeah. I'm going to get to the first report. Mm. And I suppose um, I'm going to tell that there are numerous reasons why I think we should be here. One of the reasons my career First place to live in the movie is to be in the future. Yeah. The other reason why it does be that, you know, you know, it's a collaborative environment, so it's not your own aspect. Yeah. So if you don't keep that at point of watching or the watch list, or you don't really care about what other you know do there, you can have an instance where somebody will go there and put a lot of um, you know advertisements and content you know, the writing in such a way that it gives a lot of people that are in one person. And I think that was the end. So the solution might be that when you create an article, keep it on your watch list, and actually don't care about conclusions that others made. If you just go be there and not go back, chances are that you will be dead when someone else will there and read it, you know, against the uh, world. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, Douglas? Okay, um, just to comment on the, the suggestion to train admins, um, mm. we don't 
as mentioned before, yeah. becoming an administrator is not simply training to become, not training someone to become an administrator. It's, it's something that you essentially earn through very active experience of editing all the time and, and proving your trustworthiness and to be an administrator and, and you're proving your knowledge of how the community will be communicating what the work from dealing with issues, right? So, yeah, I, I, would, I would just discourage the concept of training for the administrator. Can you encourage the administrators? And just encourage people to involve them in the from one, you know, becoming a very active editor and getting ready for it. But training on the very skeptical. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> However, if you imagine that you have two week training, you're imagining the problem. Training happens to me maybe two years. And in those two years, the editor would need to learn the thing I mentioned already, well, not just editing according to the norms, but controlling how does that work? What's the, what's the reverse policy? Blocking user conduct expectation, civility means interpretation on the user's behavior, talking about what's in the mountain. A course could be created with that teaches all of that, but basically the course would be let me teach you about the versions and then the rollback rights, etc. etc. Now go over three months, get that experience, and after you gain three months of control experience, apply for a rollback and get that before you apply for that. Then what you say is not deletion site. Show up and cite. Don't just say I'm in favor, I'm against it. Say that this should be deleted because of criteria in G7. Yeah. That's how you participate in deletion discovery. Yeah. Demonstrate that you might expand the laws. By the way, deletion discovery are not participated in by all the people I am going to say regularly in deletion discovery. Okay? But the article who do participate in most deletion studies, if you start showing up in, the mission, in several deletion studies and cite chapter and verse for why something should be kept or deleted, mm. those regulars will notice you. And when you do apply to become an individual, that person will make acceptable arguments. That you oh, yeah. That's how you pass a vote for that by people recognizing you as that person, by recognizing you for your work and your record. So the course would not be some magic wand that turns an editor into an admin, but just basically be a framework that trains you on how to do, again, the hard work of learning the course and exercise and applying what you've learned. And yeah, I just threw out two years, maybe a year and a half, maybe three years. So it's a long time. Again. Yeah. But it absolutely could be built. And I'm personally giving you my guarantee I will build, build even as a volunteer. If you draft a first, I don't know, uh, cohort or class of people with reasonable editing experience who tell me, yes, we want to be admins with all it takes. By the way, it doesn't end when you become an admin, that's when it begins. Then you have to do the work of the admin. Yeah. Right? So again, finding people who want to do that and we can train them. That was my comment about this thing, and I just want to make one general comment about the so often. Mm. I feel it echoes saying the word input, that we're offering you with input, yeah. and I feel there is a need to do a lot so with a full document, yeah. and um, just verify that things that are said are in fact the case. Mm. Uh, some of these statements are simply untrue, factual, like the articles that do exist. So there, there is a mentorship with a mechanism on English Wikipedia or the tea house that mm. existed for 11 years. People, want to, people need to know about it. But yeah. you know, a suggestion, for example, to create a mentorship space some sort of ignores the fact that there is a sort of need for that already. So I think mm. someone uh, or someone's group should go over the stock and mm. just kind of uh, remove things that already exist and replace yeah. them with pointers to the things. Yeah. Remove things that are simply not correct statements of fact about how okay. Wikipedia works. Rather than just present it because some people offer that energy. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And thank you for that. Uh, yes, sis, Lutz.
Thank you very much. Uh, so my name is Mercial Bernardo. The original the expert of the retention. So something that we have been active in the world, we don't have what I would see called leadership retention. Let me give you an instance. So over the years, we've seen Africans in the world as well as in the region. And these communities do to have a very important time to transmit our media to the environment. They are probably just not going to that side of things. They are going to be able to struggle. But we need to just be decent. It's not to speak bad about it. You know, I'm thinking, you know, the government really would like to see what kind of engagement. That's when you struggle. I, I don't know how they did make it shit one day. They struggled a lot. It was happening in the very when I was in the house. We were almost in the house. So, when these movements happen, the local communities are in the house. So, you know, I was hoping that somehow this would be able to find a level ground where maybe we can find the house. We could find a level ground where maybe the foundation has on the contracts of these people that they could get to put us on big house in their own communities. Maybe they have to do it in a week, they can keep up three hours and four. I would practice the community. These way we can you know, ensure that um, their affluence and uh, experience gets to rub off um, you know, on their own communities. Because when they move, a lot is lost, I can tell you for sure. Yeah. A lot of skill sets lost. And really, you know, this look like we are trying to find a girl. And this could take six months, in one year, and two years. Amazing. Some communities will not want their things. Thank you. Thank you so much. The beauty, again, of Africa Baraza, that was never written down, but here we are getting new solutions. <laughs> Uh, yes, I, I saw another hand behind. Sorry, I just want to add to the point. Uh, yes. It's a box. Uh, yeah. If you can, if you oh. can, you can see. Uh, so many gaps uh, left on the field. So I would say that even if that is like a solution of the years, I would also suggest that leaders should relate to open transfer their knowledge. The knowledge that they are giving to their community members are not just for me to themselves. Because when you are no longer there, then the community is just like they don't know how to go about some of the things that you are doing. So it's very important that we as community leaders hear how to transfer our knowledge. And also, I would also say that it's not just about coming to conference. We should learn how to go back and uh, maybe hold like a post conference. A uh, discussion of people with community members. It could be online. It doesn't have to be in person. So those are some of the ways that we can ensure that uh, the knowledge is not just uh, for one person, but it is spread across the community. I think that will be also All right. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, behind. Yeah. Uh, so I just have a question that you may ask. I'm wondering essentially how Africa is the was this case with I'm not going to do this. I don't know. Uh, the I can't easily hear you. Oh. Um, so I was asking. Since the internet is one of the ways we have in Africa. What is the status behind having uh, the internet? Did you that to have to to try to break that barrier of, to try to break the barrier of, before we go to other questions, does anyone have an answer to that? Yeah, because we are dealing with questions and answers. Yes. So before we go to add another question, do we have an answer to that? Okay. Sure. All right. 
So I this comes Rudolph is not. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. Simple, yes, yes, no, no to help the yes, no, 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 now, I think this is my own success. I think mm -hmm. a lot of these issues are solved. Mm -hmm. I think I'm saying that there is a group on the African community, I think they are doing the work, and they are associated with one of them before, a whole group of people. The group of people has a group of people, and the group of people has a group of people, and the group of people has a group of people. All of them mm -hmm. should be found out we have a new system of cities. Now, it's what is all after the world. We go there and use it. I have something that I've seen as an institution of the world institution. Yeah. The question of the institution that the world is across the country. Yes, you can do that. Otherwise, that would be the relationship. For the top, right? Those reasons and those things are not going to be done. So, I think not all of them are going to be done. Uh, thank you. Uh, another comment on that question before we go to another question. were played with all the parents for the that access. They were donating that access. Yeah. And the idea was that it was there not the parents, but the leaders. And people would not think less. People would insult them. We would read that. And of course, there are many more leaders in the areas. The program was really about access to knowledge, even more than about the new channels. However, the reason we can't have my saves is that people have abused that program in one of the United States. We can have access to Wikipedia sites for free, free of data charges. People, some people, quickly realize, hey, I could upload pirates and movies to comments and then share it for free without a data download charge with my friends. And then other people say, oh, that means you can also do more. You can do a lot more. So, we can be this sad, but really, Wikipedia Zero became a massive, massive content distribution network for free that is thanks to the old characters. For movies and porn, for Apple users who want to consume movies and porn, for the right of the And then we're doing it for free. So I, I don't really blame people who saw the opportunity that I don't know what the access data is really unjustifiably spent. But of course, it's not quite what we had in mind. It's certainly not what the mobile carriers had in mind. And when they saw the reports after a few months, they were like, hang on, we're paying for you know, terabytes, gigabytes of data transfer so that after the users can watch porn, it's not what we do now, it's not access to now all the people, it's not what we signed up for, we had to stop. Uh, so that's only that truth. That's why we're going to say it. Yeah. However, in a serious way, we still do think of a lot of other solutions. Sir? They are packages yeah. that are already yeah. used in a lot of grants. A lot of grants and activities and new partnerships with partners. There are other ways to keep access to these. Uh, uh, Asa, yeah. you're done? Okay, yes. Yeah. So, in the interest of time, sure. yes, uh, before I do that, uh, we have another, an another session. So, let me make this clear. This document is ours. Hello, this document is ours, it's live. Some people uh, suggested rephrasing the statements. Some people are still having so many answers. This document is ours. But again, we have to move forward. So allow me to hand over to you. <laughs> Would you be able to... Okay.
Okay. All right. Thank you. There was one more comment quickly. We're three minutes past four. Um, and the next session is already 30 minutes behind. Um, so if we can make this quick. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think for me, um, the discussion highlights the positive things that we've also seen in different projects, such as the pilot that needs to do the hard work. But I do want to encourage uh, main Africans with the media as a community to highlight when it is working and to show when people are putting in the path of the if we stick to the narrative that implies you know, Africa that is not willing to put in the hard work, then you carry on that one. So not hearing stories of, and you see one to 10, 20 people of the 2,500 current Africa and the who are willing to say, I put in the hard work. Mm -hmm. This is how I'm doing it. Let's be very, you know, for where I am, I feel worried when you when kids are never have to be willing to put in the hard work. Yes, you know that. But let's show when the hard work is put in, what does it look like? So then the narrative of looking at see again, it's a dangerous narrative now because not really, let's not be the same people to us. Here, here. Perfect mic drop. Thank you, Veronica. <laughs> All right. Um, so we have said a lot. There's still more to add. Um, these are, these are about five key points that have been compressed into three. Please do take time to look through the document. What's coming up after this, um, is that this, this draft agenda taking some of the inputs will be updated and then posted once again on Meta. Um, so we can also include some suggestions there and continue the discussions there. Um, perhaps we'll take uh, Rebecca's also uh, Rebecca's contribution earlier. Maybe we post it on the forum so we can engage with this agenda in different languages. Um, and we're hoping that this will happen by the 13th of November. Um, then we aim for a finalized and prioritize finalize the document um, by the 1st of December. So within the first week of December, we should have a finalized document that will then be published again on Meta before the holidays. Um, so it's a process. We know consultations need to happen. Um, and uh, the team that's working on this knows there's a lot of work to take forward. Um, we'll continue engagements, discussions. Please look out for an invitation to continue these conversations um, and keep a critical eye out on what has been added what might be removed from all of the comments and from some of the suggestions um, and from our conversations today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for all the contributions. Whoop, whoop, whoop to an Africa agenda.
<laughs> so the next thing is this. Hey, hold on, DJ. I'm not done. <laughs> Um, so the next thing is, there's a question. There's all of this, and we say, oh, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. But who's doing the work? Do we know? Who's doing this? It's not me. I I'm just facilitating this conversation. <laughs> Who is going to do this work? It's a big question. If it's possible. Who is responsible? Yes. Who? Who? Collectively. That's not a person's name. Who's called collectively here? Who's Babu? I mean, he's tall, but I think the agenda is taller than Bobby. <laughs> Who's doing this work? We all, but that's not somebody's name. Okay. <laughs> a task force. Okay. Let's hear from them. For the task force. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but that's just to introduce um, the conversation that's coming up next um, with a proposal again for how we might ensure that this work is taken forward concretely and in truly actionable steps. Thank you, everyone.